A few weeks ago, I compared Brave, Flop, and Waterfox to see which one truly respects your privacy. And to my surprise, Brave actually did really well. But here's the thing, as far as privacy is concerned, no browser is perfect out of the box. So I started thinking, what if we could take Brave's solid foundation and push its privacy to the max? And what if we do this without breaking the features that make it perfect for daily use? That's exactly what we are doing in this video. I'll show you how to harden Brave for maximum privacy while keeping it fast and functional. If you use Brave or you're just curious about making your browser as private as possible, smash the like button and let's get started. We'll start with Brave Shields, Brave's built-in defense system against trackers, ads, and other web annoyances. For this, we go to Settings and click Shields. Here, you should select the aggressive option for trackers and ad blocking. This blocks even more trackers and intrusive ads, making it harder for websites to spy on you. However, if you notice that some sites break, especially those that rely on embedded content, you can always dial it back per site using the Shields icon in the address bar. Next, set upgrade connections to HTTPS to aggressive as well. This reduces the risk of accidentally visiting an insecure version of your website. Enabling the block script option is great for privacy, but it will be a usability nightmare so we leave it off now. The last thing I would love to do is enable forget me when I close this site. This forces Brave to clear cookies and other site data when you close a website. It reduces the possibility of being tracked across browsing sessions. Now we can leave all the other settings here in their defaults. But talking about things that happen when we close sites, there is a bit more we can do. So let's click privacy and security and select delete browsing data. Now navigate to on exit. Here select all options then click save. This way everything is shut closed and erased once you close a website tab. You might even dial this a notch higher by using extensions like uBlock Origin. It offers even better ad or tracker blocking than Brave's Shield. But in most cases, the tweaks we've already made should suffice. The next privacy setting you will want to explore is the default search engine. Brave gives you two ways to search the internet. The first is the normal window search. This one is the search bar at the top of the browser which uses Google by default. Then you have private window search. It's usually found near the bottom of the browser. This defaults to Brave Search. If you really care about privacy, you will want to avoid Google. It tracks everything you search for, builds a detailed profile on you, and it even ties your searches to your real identity if you're signed into a Google account. Now, while Brave Search is a great alternative because it's independent and doesn't track you, it's not the most anonymous option. For maximum privacy, you must switch to Start Page or DuckDuckGo. Start Page will give you Google search results without Google's tracking. It acts as a privacy shield between you and Google, and your searches stay anonymous. DuckDuckGo is a more privacy-friendly search engine that doesn't store your search history. However, it relies on Bing for results, so some data might still be processed through Microsoft's infrastructure. To make this switch, on the settings page, click Search Engine, then click Change for Normal Window. Now you can select a new search engine. You might repeat the same process for the private window search. Now you might want to take your tweaks a step forward by hardening WebRTC to prevent IP leaks. This is important because even if you're using a VPN, your real address can still leak through WebRTC. This is a feature used for real-time communication like video calls. Some websites might exploit this to bypass your VPN and track your, th your true location. To lock down WebRTC, go to your settings page again and click privacy and security. Now on the option for WebRTC IP handling, change it to disable non-proxied UDP. This way WebRTC can only see your VPN's IP address, preventing leaks and keeping your real location safe. And even if you don't use a VPN, this setting still reduces tracking risks by blocking unnecessary WebRTC connections. Now let's move to a tweak that protects your DNS. Remember that your ISP can see and log every website that you visit unless you encrypt your DNS requests. So you need a secure DNS. This prevents ISPs and other snoopers from tracking your browsing habits. Brave allows you to choose a secure and private DNS provider. And here's how to set it up. Under privacy and security, click on security. Then under select DNS provider, pick an option. Now what option should you pick? For speed and decent privacy, Cloudflare is a good option. 
It only logs minimal metadata for debugging and this is usually deleted after 24 hours. But if you need maximum privacy, skip the preset options and go to custom DNS. Your best picks are Movad, this has completely no logs, and then Quad9 that blocks malicious domains and doesn't track your queries. Now, if you've made these tweaks, you might still take things a step further by using Tor mode for sensitive browsing. Brave has a built-in Tor integration that lets you browse with Onion routing for extreme anonymity. The good part is that you don't need to install the Tor browser separately. To enable this, open a private window. Click on the Your Private icon. It's at the top right corner. Then select Open Private Window with Tor. Now all your traffic is routed through the Tor network. But you must know that the Tor mode in Brave is not as private as the standalone Tor browser. So if you need maximum anonymity, you might want to install Tor. I have a guide on how to use Tor. You should check it out if you choose this option. Now if you've come this far, you're set to enjoy real privacy while using the Brave browser. I know on this channel, I have a lot of privacy experts. So if I've missed any tips, please drop them in the comments. Also, let me know what topics you want me to explore in subsequent videos. As usual, share and subscribe. That's how you help this channel to grow. You might also help me continue creating these videos by purchasing any of my favorite privacy tools with the links in the description. When you do so, I get a commission at no extra cost to you. And that's all for this one. Till the next one, stay safe out there.